Now, Europe had never been able to feed itself. It just doesn't have that much really good land. It's cold, 16th through the mid 19th century. There's something like a continent wide famine every 10 years. The potato comes and suddenly Europe can feed itself. And it turns out that what happens to a lot of countries when they suddenly acquire the ability to feed themselves and to have a healthy population that's growing, they go out and look for other countries to conquer. This is really the fuel that fed the European empires. What happened with the arrival of the Spaniards in the Americas is they discovered the sweet potato and the potato. And the sweet potato is from probably from Ecuador and the potato is from Peru. And these are crops that can grow in dry areas in the way that rice can't or wheat can't. The good part about potatoes is that from a point of view of feeding, you have wheat. If you grow more than so much grain, it becomes top heavy and it falls over, kills the plant. Whereas potato, all the good part is underground. So it can just grow as big as it wants. Basically, you get four times as many calories from an acre of potatoes that you could from an acre of wheat.